Ray is getting ready to go out and harvest some marshmallow for me. We're out forging tonight. Um, he got out of work early. So I just wanted to share that with you. He's on his way now. Go ahead, Ray. Uh, I got the scissors, yeah. Oh, okay. Hi there. Bray and I went forging today and we ended up having a big thunder shower, but Ray was such a nice guy. He got out in the rain and some of it. We have marshmallow right here. And close up. This will be for sale. Also, I'll have the seed for sale. I'll have the flower for sale and the lease for sale. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bundle it up like this. I'm gonna bundle it all together and I'm gonna hang it here with the rest of my herbs. Did you follow me, Ray? I'm gonna hang it here with the rest of my herbs and I'm gonna dry it out. I wanted to share with you Hold on just a second here. I dropped my book. You never know what's going to happen with Maniac Grammy. So anyways, I have my elastic. We don't need that. I like this book a lot. I know I've showed you several times. Healing in Municipal Herbs. And it's everything you need to know explained simply. This is a great book for someone that's just learning about herbs. I read from it every time I do an herb because I think it's a great beginner's guide. So I'm gonna share with you what's in this book. I'm not a doctor, I'm just reading from this book here. I'm um, also, there's so much to know about herbs I'm not a smart woman, I'll be the first one to know. If I read it, then we know together. So here we go. The marshmallow, it's a perennial and it grows best in zone five through eight. In the summer, it can grow three to four feet, which that is so true. It's a pale pink flower. All the way up the stalk, it has gray green leaves and toothy hairs. The stem is also hairy. Okay, we also found a white one, which is pretty rare to find white right there. And the stem is hairy, and the stem is hairy, and these are the leaves right here. And this is the flower. These will be dried, and here's the seeds here. So that's the whole part of it. The stem hairy, the fuzzy leaves, and the flower. And there's a white, and there's a pink. So there's that. And I also told you the stem is hairy. When to plant, you can plant the seeds. It can be planted outside in early spring. This year, next year, excuse me, next year I will be planting some in my garden. Depending on your location, they can be started indoors and planted outside mid to late spring. It grows in clumps and should be spaced about 12 inches apart. We find that you find this sporadic. You're not going to find a whole row of them. We went foraging and you'll find a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit here. And then it said what it likes for soil. It likes sun to partial shade and moderate watering is preferred and loomy soil. When to harvest, the root of the marshmallow will harvest in early spring or late fall. The leaves and flowers can be hand picked at any time. Parts used, the root, the leaves, the flowers of this herb can all be used either fresh or dry. Medicinal benefits. Um, the marshmallow is very soothing to the gastrointestinal tract and throat. 
Some herbalists rely on it for urinary tract also. It can be used as an infusion, texture, syrup, lozenger, or municipal food. So that's what I'd like to share with you on this marshmallow plant. So this will be up for sale. I'm gonna bundle it and dry it now. You never know what's gonna be on my videos. Have a great day. Share my videos. Sub if you haven't, and thanks for all my followers. God bless.